we are coming to this with, with a more clear eyed perspective. I think it's incredibly important that motherhood or and childlessness are seen as two versions of a messy, perfect, hum, imperfect human experience. They're just they're just different versions. Unfortunately, because of pronatalism, pronatalism puts motherhood on a pedestal, which is incredibly unhelpful for mothers who are just real human beings doing their best in an imperfect, muddly way with very challenging, you know, very challenging tasks to do. But what it does do is pronatalism also privileges the narrative of motherhood. So when mothers want to kind of talk about how hard it is, there is a space for that. There will be newspaper articles, there will be websites, there will be interviews about how challenging it is to be a parent. So they wear all of the wonderful things, it's the most meaningful thing I've ever done, and you'll get the challenging ones. But childlessness is not given that space. You know, childlessness, considering, you know, we are 25% of the adult population, we exist in a huge cultural blind spot. So once again, it is really important that all aspects of, of parenthood are explored. But there is a massive imbalance because actually what we don't hear is we don't hear all aspects of childlessness. And we very rarely hear my story, which is someone who wasn't able to have children, went through a massive dark night of the soul and is now out the other side and contributing to life in a meaningful way again. Childless women are usually either a cautionary tale for younger women on how not to screw up your life, or we are that childless woman who is destroyed by it. Or the really happy child free by choice woman who has lots of white cats, and white dogs and white furniture in the holidays. They don't exist. Either.